Are you ready for what's hot? We talk about stories that have all of us talking. Today we're joined by local blogger Rochelle Fritsch and Jeff Wagner back with us. School security, it's a big concern. Some NBC reporters were able to gain access to several schools in the New York area without being questioned. The anniversary of Sandy Hook Elementary, the school shooting in Connecticut, is nearing. And uh, this was kind of an effort to look at how safe are our schools, should there be more school security. The few I've been in in the past year um, are, are pretty locked down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You need to be buzzed in, you need to sign in, you need to pass. And I looked at the NBC report, Jeff Rawson I think was able to get into four, he was not able to get into four out of five. So right. one school he was allowed to get in and then the local NBC reporter was able to get into seven out of 10 in New York City, much that's bigger. Lot, yeah, yeah, that's a lot. It's right. a lot, but, but I think you bring up a good point in that this is anecdotal evidence. Yeah. Um, so we can't paint the broad brush and say that all schools everywhere, because things do vary. Um, but I, to me, you know, I think the bigger question should be, you know, we need to be reframing the way we look at things. Active shooter is now in our vocabulary. This kind of stuff happens. And, and I think so many businesses, not just schools, may have the mindset that, well, it couldn't happen here. So I think visit from schools to businesses to the grocery stores, um, office buildings. We all need to start thinking about this differently and having plans in place, because I'm not sure that a lot of places are thinking that way. Well, yeah, but, the, and, but of course the problem with that is, I mean, how far do you go? I mean, we've talked about it from the perspective of, do you, do you put a metal detector up at the entrance to every school? Well, I think a lot of people think that's not practical, because then you have to have somebody that's staffing that. You know, do you put a metal detector up at every entrance to a shopping mall? I, I think you have to be conscious of this, but still balance it with the fact that we live in a free society and also understand that if you've got you know some um, psychologically deranged killer that wants to come in and do stuff um, living in a free society there's right. still would, very little we can do right. to prevent it. I would it. say just for general purposes when it comes to a school yeah. I wouldn't want people strangers just to be able to exactly. walk in. Yeah. Right. I think that there needs to be some kind of deterrent, you know, you, well, you, you, you lock the front in, door and you, you have to, to be have buzzed in. Well, that's sure. what was disturbing about right. this. They sure. do they have locked doors. In. They had the <laughs> right. intercom system. They asked him who he was and they still let him in. And in I think, that case, yeah. But, right. I, yeah. but I think that, you know, when it comes to the schools that these reporters got into, they shouldn't have been able to just walk in like right. that. Yeah. All right, we're going to leave it at that. Pick up the day. Again, we're joined by Rochelle Fritsch and Jeff Wagner. Now, today's viewer's choice topic is flu season is here and we're encouraged to get the flu shot yet some people are still ending up in the hospital even though they got the shot but getting the vaccine is not 100 percent effective and do you think then the shots are jeff you got the shot right i know I, I get the shot every year yeah. um but I, I tell you here's what i found stunning about the today's tmj report is that flu seasons hit early you've got a number of people being hospitalized but they're saying that more than four out of ten of the people who are being hospitalized have gotten the flu shot so i i believe in it but you do have to wonder you know what's going on if forty some percent of the people who get the shot get the flu uh, but some of those those hospitalized do have underlying conditions right. that make them more susceptible like diabetes and, and asthma um, compromised immune yeah. systems things but i like thought that. that's why you're supposed to get the flu shot if you've got those underlying <laughs> right. conditions no. to make sure you don't get it well, I mean, to me, it's always like prevention is something that you definitely can't measure. So if I don't get sick, does it mean, is it due to me having the flu shot? Is it due to a weaker strain? Is it a better vaccine? I don't know. There are too many variables to say whether it's, you know, it's, it's working or not. And again, it's not 100% effective. I mean, there's common sense that goes along with it. It's eating right and getting enough rest, doing all the stuff our moms told us to do. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the common sense approach. Yeah. I know the medical field is feels strongly about everyone getting the flu shot, right. but I think if more people also did the common sense thing, and it's kind of hard when you got kids right. and right. you're involved with a lot of different people, it's the holiday season, you're hugging and handshaking and kissing everyone. Right. Or well, if at least you just not around here, but because sure. you're a journey. Journey. But, right. but I guess what struck Things. me about this, I, I don't think anything's 100% effective. And look, it's it's early, so I mean, I think you do have to look at the the whole flu season to say, okay, what's the percentage? I just thought what was stunning about our story was 44% right. of the people hospitalized thus far yeah. had gotten the flu shot. That's not a very good. Um, you know, effective measure. Now, but again, maybe at the end of the year, it's going to be dramatically lower. Right. Yeah, absolutely. All right, time for our lightning round. Supermodel Giselle <laughs> Bunchen showing us how she can multitask on Instagram.
<laughs> she's breastfeeding her baby while her army gets her ready. She's got nails, hair, and makeup being done. <laughs> what are your thoughts? This is not a selfie? Rich no. <laughs> Why didn't you take the, show, the selfie? <laughs> right. Rochelle, no. you want to crack at this or should I go? I just want to roll my eyes and gag. Really? You know, good for you. I'm, I'm happy you've got all the handlers. That's, that's wonderful. But you, keep it to yourself. I, I'm, I'm a mom and I'm always going and going and going. I'm not inspired. None. I would say super mom she's not, no. but I guess it's it's a good thing to see that the nanny doesn't do everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's, That's going to be me in April when I come yeah. back from maternity leave. I'm yeah. going to get my nails and hair done while I'm taking care of the baby before I come to work. Yeah, or, or, or maybe wish. at work, you know, we'll come. My, my cap, I mean, the, the thing this was put up there was kind of like put the caption up there. My caption was, it's good to be queen, you know, yeah. which is kind of ah. that how it works out. Well, it worked out for her. We thank you both. For your thoughts, <laughs> the What's Hot discussion continues online. Find that page at tmj4.com slash hot.